I honestly don't understand. When it comes to my channel, people in the comment sections love to tell me I'm wrong and I'm doing something wrong because I don't do it the way that they do it or the way that they know people to do it. So, with that being said, I'm going to let Tizio explain this beautiful thing that he does that I do. I didn't even know he does this, but I do this. Roll the freaking clip. Working with Chris, the way he records is autotune is always printed on his... Auto-tune is always printed. Let's go to a comment. Somebody asked me two months ago, what are the perks of printing the auto-tune? It seems like a polarizing topic because it is. Some preach about it, others seem to warn against it. What's the unbiased word on it? As a person that does both, I just do it because I like to do it, right? Because I don't want shit changed. And we see right here, because you're forced to record correctly and nobody can change your settings and mess it up if it's in the wrong hands. There's not a correct way about it, right? People think thinking bad because you can't change the retune speed settings, but they never stop and think that if a person is printing, then it's most likely because they don't want it changed, okay? You know, it could have been left at that, right? That's a very unbiased statement because if you want to print, if you don't want to print, it's up to you. So it's always some genius in the comment sections. There's no perks of it. You won't be able to undo anything. Genius. If a person is printing it, then they most likely don't want it changed. Right? So, but who am I? I'm just a person with an audio degree. I'm just a person that's worked in the music industry. I'm just a person that does music differently than most people, right? I'm just a guy in the bedroom. Who cares what I think, right? So, that's where <laughs> my boy TCO comes in. Let's continue vocal on the way in it's not an actually on the actual tracks yep. the microphone goes to the preamp the preamp uh -huh. goes to the compressor the compressor uh -huh. goes to the input of the interface uh -huh. and that input of the interface goes to an auxiliary first in pro tools that auxiliary all right so what he's talking about hold on he has auto-tune on it the output of that auxiliary goes to a record track all right so this is printing and i said this on my interview with avid the people that make pro tools when i went to new york you know what i'm saying I said I love Pro Tools because it's so easy to set up a print track and record like you're in the studio without being in a studio. So, uh, me being me, y'all know I got a Chris Brown template. This is a remake of Chris Brown's template. And the aux track that he speaks of right here is labeled Tune. It has the tool tech on it. And you got to put the auto tune plugin on it. And the tune is running into a record track like TZO just stated. All right. There's no funny business going on here, right? This is a personal preference. This is not mandatory. People aren't going to force you to record this way. You only record this way because you want. To. Most people just sitting there thinking like, if somebody's doing something they don't do, it's wrong. And yeah, TZO got a Grammy. TZO got Platinum Plex. TZO got gold records. TZO got way more credits than me, than anybody watching this video, all right? So, let's continue. So, by the time the audio leaves the auxiliary... Oh, shit. Play it. The auto-tune is printed on the vocal directly. The way It's printed on the vocal directly. Hold on, we gotta run that back. We gotta run that back. Just a little bit. A little bit. Run it. Leaves the auxiliary, the auto-tune is printed on the vocal directly. The way we figure out what speed it wants to be is, I start him at 10, and if he tells me he wants more or less, I'll give him more or less. The All right, and right there. Start at 10. If Chris wants more, they give them more. If Chris wants less, he gives them less. So people looking for the perfect auto-tune settings, retune speed settings, listen to that. Start at a number, then work your way forward or back and see if it works and it sounds good for your vocal. Um, yeah, can, let's continue. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm glad I found this clip because this clip is going to make a lot of people upset, but it's the truth. The auto-tune with Chris is not necessarily to improve his singing because he has the capability to sing perfectly in pitch. Most records have auto-tune. I don't sing perfectly in pitch. I need that shit. <laughs> Even if it's very little. Um, and part of that is because there's this electric flare that it gives the vocal that doesn't happen when the vocal's just raw and natural. So because of that, um, Chris has always wanted it on his vocal since, since he started using it. Um, and I think that it works out in his benefit because a lot of the cool, there's a lot of cool songs where you remember that one auto-tune bend where it does something weird 
And part of that capturing it of the, where I tell you I want to record the auto-tune down into the record track is that that can never be messed with. Whoa, what did TZO just say? It can never be messed with, all right? It can never be messed with. I want you to look at that, right? Let's go back to my comment. <laughs> what did I say? Because you're supposed to record correctly and nobody can change your settings and mess it up if it's in the wrong hands. What did he say? What did he say? Auto-tune down into the record track is that that can never be messed with. Okay. All right. Scott don't know nothing. Scott don't know nothing. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I don't know shit, right? I don't know nothing. Nathaniel. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Just a guy in the bedroom. I don't know nothing. I don't beta test plugins for auto tune. I know nothing. I'm, I, I know nothing. I know. I know nothing. No one could ever change the retune speed. I know nothing. I literally know nothing. Right? <laughs> There's no perks of it. You won't be able to undo anything. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Because a person don't want it changed. And TZO don't want it changed. No, nope, like, they don't want it changed. No one could ever change human eyes to alter how that vocal sounds going through the autotune. So, come on, bro. Why y'all wish to play with me, bro? Once it's on recorded, it's done. Working with Chris. Why y'all want to play with me? Like, <laughs> there's no perks. You will be able to do anything. Who cares, bro? Who cares? Because that's what I do. And this is Chris Brown's recording tip. Like, it's simple. Simple. And this is a person, like, TZO uses analog gear to track them. And I'm pretty sure Chris is recording through the Need 1073 and the Tool Tech into the Auto Tune. And you can recreate that whole thing because that's my recording chain when I be in Pro Tools. I had the Auto Tune. I had the Need 1073 with my preamp or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then I have the Tool Tech. All of that will be on my print track. And it'll be recorded in here. It's like so simple. Like, watch it. Like, I'm gonna turn the tune on. I don't know, no, no, no. I don't even know what key on me. 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 Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I don't even know what key on me. I don't even what key on me. I don't even know what key on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so like, watch this. Now click up here. Watch, right. bring that down. Watch it. I don't even know what key on me. I don't even what key on me. I don't even know what key on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so now watch this. A lot of people gonna be like, but you're recording at a very, very high level of this. It's block. No, watch. Look, let's just turn that down. <laughs> I don't even know what key on me. I don't even want to kill me. I don't even know what kill me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, honestly, like, I honestly just be feeling like people hate the fact that they look at me and they think that I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm in a bedroom and, you know, like, I look like this, right? Or I talk like this and they, and they don't realize, like, I be knowing what I'm talking about because it's like, I mean, Auto tune is people love it, people hate it, people want to print it, people don't want to print it. You know, um, some people don't have commitment issues. You know, when it really comes down to it, like, and this video is a little bit more personal to me, right? Because that's not the only comment. I get comments all the time. They're like, "You shouldn't burn the effects to the vocal, bro. Who gives a fuck, bro? Let me do what I want to do." Like, how does me printing my auto-tune ruin your day? You know what I'm saying? Like, that don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, TZO came through the clutch.